sidekick. Okay, our sidekick is one of the strongest kicks that we do in tight Okay, So if you think about our front kick, uh, our front kick, our knee comes straight out and we kick straight in front of us. Okay, definitely an attacking technique. Our turning kick as well comes around okay, and is definitely an attacking technique. Our side kick can be classed as both attacking and defensive kick. Okay. So you imagine if we're sideways on and we're kicking out okay, with the edge of our foot, imagine someone running onto that, that's the defensive side of our side kick. Okay. Also, we can lead with our side kick here, making it aggressive, okay, being an attacking technique. Okay. So, performing the side kick. Now, the side kick is definitely one of the more complicated kicks in type one. It's very difficult to master. There's a stage in it okay, that is quite tricky, that needs you to try and master it. You need to think about it, you need to build up the strength in your leg, in order to be able to perform the side kick. Now, the steps of the side kick go. Okay? Lift the knee just like you're doing a front kick. Okay? The knee ideally should be higher than the hips. Okay? Now, from this position, you must turn the foot on the floor. So the foot on the floor must turn okay, at least 90 degrees. So at least 90 degrees as you do the side kick. Okay. So any less, if the foot's even slightly pointing forwards, the kick won't be able to form properly. Okay. So knee up, turn the foot. Now ideally, it should turn almost all the way around 180 degrees. Okay. Now I don't turn mine. 180 degrees until I extend the kick. Okay, so mine's turned almost 180 degrees. Once the kick is extended, then it turns the rest of the uh, the rest of the uh, angle. Okay, so knee up, turn the foot on the floor. Now you'll notice my knee is no longer facing forwards. It's now facing this this side. But I am sideways on. You can see the side of my body, you can see the side of my leg, and more importantly, the side of my foot. Okay, now all I have to do from this point is extend my leg forwards, leading with the edge of the foot here into the side leg. So from this position, my knee is still high, I drive my knee forwards in a straight line towards where I'm kicking. Now I pull my foot over so that my foot is nice and tight, it's not loose and floppy. Okay, so instead of this, I've got this, I pull my foot back up to the shin and I'm leading with the edge of my foot. Now that's called the foot sword or the bow cow. Okay, so the three stages again are knee up, Turn the foot on the floor, kick out straight with the edge of your foot. Okay. Now remember, we mentioned the chamber position previously with other kicks. Okay, so when I get to this position here, this is our chamber position for the side. So push and you can bring it back and kick again. If you were to do a double side kick, here look, so knee. Turn, kick, bring it back. You can kick again, kick again. Now I'm doing it in a slower motion so that you can see the mechanics of where my legs are. Okay, so sideways on. Here, look. Knee, turn, push. Kick with the edge of the foot. Okay, so knee, turn, kick. Now, if you were to speed this up, there's definitely some overlap in between the sections. So it's not rigidly here, here, here. Okay? 
there is overlap uh, whereby you can cut corners to do the kick. But whilst you're developing the muscles and developing the kick, it's a good idea to follow the three stages before you take any shortcuts. Okay, so a side kick at normal speed should look like this. On the side.